Hi, aloha everybody. My name is Leanne Wong. I am the chef owner of Coco Head Cafe, as well as the executive chef for Hawaiian Airlines. And I'm so excited to have Paul Burt from Step Outside here with me today. Well, thank you very much for that, Leanne. I love, <laughs> I love the intro. I'm taking a holiday. Leanne's going to do some cooking for you. See you later. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I tell you what, the, the traditional Hawaiian plate lunch is a, uh, it's an iconic meal that a lot of people just do every weekend. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this today. Plate lunch in Hawaii is usually like rice, mac salad, meat, eggs. It's like rice and protein, starch and protein, essentially. Cool. One thing we run every single weekend yeah. is steak and eggs. I love steak and eggs. Yeah. A lot of Kiwis love steak and eggs. The cut that we like to use is a skirt steak. This is also known as flap. I'm just going to trim some of that silver skin off. And as you can see, the grain, uh, it kind of twists and turns. It's not just a very straightforward piece of meat. And, you know, I'll cut this off into a six ounce steak. So maybe this is a, a light piece. So that's a portion. We'll go over here. That'll Tastes be a size portion. portions, aren't they? Yeah, they're And you can really actually tasty. smell it too. It is yeah. very gamey, uh, which, which is a good sign. It's a great sign. Okay, so we're going to start with this. I've got my pan heating up here. And I'm, I'm very simple. You know, we do a special marinade on our steak every weekend. So I remember once a customer came in, she's like, yeah, you did a plain steak for me. I was like, we never do plain steak. That's, that's absolutely impossible. You're thinking of the wrong restaurant. So you, you just seasoned that steak, salt both sides. Pepper. Salt and pepper, pretty simple with what sort of oil? The most, uh, just vegetable oil. The okay. most important thing, whenever yep. you're cooking meat yeah. and you're gonna sear meat, yeah. is you wanna make sure you go into a super hot surface. You wanna form that crust so yep. you keep all the juices in. Yep. If you go into a cold pan, meat's right. gonna stick to the pan. Yep. You're gonna kinda get this gray exterior and we want that nice hard sear. Um, and so, you know, we treat the steaks pretty simply. Careful. Okay, I just want to go ahead and sear that off a little bit more. We're going to give that a little bit more color. The little New York trick I like. Okay, butter. I like to add butter. And I'll butter baste it so the butter just melts in that pan. Yeah, that's nice. You can see that. Wow. The butter kind of browns out. Yep. You get that nuttiness. Yeah. And so we're, we're coating the steak at the same time as the butter's melting. The water and the butter is coming up and releasing a little bit of steam, so it's actually helping to accelerate the cooking of the, the beef. Oh, look at that. That's magnificent. At this point, I can turn the heat off and let the steak rest in the butter. Okay. And so it's going to continue to cook, get nice and juicy. Okay. Also back home, you can go down to your local Anaconda store and pick up a Spinifex single or dual gas burner. It's going to do exactly the same as this, and you can do this up around your campsite because yeah. all we're really adding now is some really good damn fine fresh exactly. eggs. Exactly. One of the reasons I like to break my eggs into the bowl first is just to check their freshness. Sure. So every now and then you will totally get a bad egg and so it's always important that you are putting the egg into a bowl first before you add it to your batter, before you add it to the pan, so that yep. way you're not wasting two eggs. Okay. All right, so my it's pan's nice and hot. I can see that because it's smoking. Yep. Got my fat in, and I'm just gonna slide my eggs in. I like to break up the whites to help it cook quickly. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn the heat down so the bottom doesn't burn and these cook nice and evenly. Yep, beautiful. Okay, just needs a little bit more time. In the meantime, our steak's ready to go. Okay. It's been resting. So check this out. Now, whenever you're cutting steak, one of the most important things is cutting across the grain. You wanna okay. go against the grain. Why is that so? Uh, consider eating a piece of rope, right? Yep. So if you're eating rope, that's twisted like this with the grain. It's going to be very hard to chew. But if you cut that rope across, and yep. you've got short cross sections. Yeah. The fibers are nice and short. Okay. Very tender. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's a little wow. rare, but it's no, so that's beautiful. Good. That's how Try I love that. my tuna. Beautiful. Right. Thank you. Right. Mm. Really tender. You can have this black and blue. Absolutely stunning. And of course, it's up to you at home how you like your steak. If you love it rare, medium, or well done, or leather like a. Well, you know belt. what's good is like you can. It's you can put a little hot butter on that. Oh. Cook it up a yeah. little bit more. I mean, you could. That, <laughs> but why? That, to me, that's perfect anyway. Yeah. Got our eggs. Slide them right onto the pan. Oh, wow. Look at that. You know, and then. It's an easy we meal. We just go ahead. Does it get any better than that? I mean, that's an easy meal I mean, to steak have. And eggs straight up, Sunday morning. I like to finish with a little touch of salt. And you know what? Um, you can add some butter. You can add just a little sauce, some pickles on top, some fried onions. but. This is as simple as it gets. Come on in, check it out. Coco Head Cafe here on beautiful island of Oahu, here in the lovely islands, of course, of Hawaii. Thank you for that. Mahalo Chef for being here, Paul. Thank you.